Okay, let's check over your math boxes together. You should have completed all of your math boxes on your own. Of course, if you were stuck on one, that's okay to go over it together now, but you should have completed these all on your own, and now we're going to check over them together. So if you didn't do these on your own, stop the video and get all six boxes finished, and then come back when you're ready to check it over. All right, let's take a look at box number one. We are using symbols to compare these numbers. We're going to use the less than, the greater than, or the equal sign. I'm going to read both of the numbers and then fill in the sign that you should have for your answer. The first one is 1,257, and we're comparing that to 2,157. And right away you should have heard that this first number is a 1,000 number. It's less than the next number. So you should have that symbol on the line. Let's take a look at the next one. 7,925 compared to 5,297. And right away you should hear that that first number is greater. It starts with 7,000. Okay, next one. 10,129 compared to 1,129. There's a big difference there. 10,000 is a much larger number than just a 1,000 number. Okay, great. Uh, moving on to box number two. Now these can be uh, tricky, but just look at the sense and it will help you to figure out what it's closer to. We're looking at $2.88. Is that closer to $2.80 or $2.90? Well, let's just focus on the 88 cents. Is that closer to 80 or is that closer to 90? you should notice that 88 is closer to 90 cents. So 290 would be your correct answer. Do the same thing on the next one. $5.61. Is that closer to $5.60 or $5.70? If you just focus on those cents, you should notice that 61 cents is closer to 60. So $5.60 is a good answer. This next one is a little tougher because we're, our choices are $1.90 or $2. $1.97, what's it closer to? Well, if you look at 97 cents, 97 is closer to 100 than it is to 90. But if we have 100 cents, that means we have a new dollar. So our dollar would be changing there. So $1.97 is actually closer to $2. If you um, did not have those answers, please erase and fix those now. Let's move down to box number three. And it says to put the heights in order and find the median height. Okay, so you need to put them in order from smallest to largest. So I'm going to look at my choices here and see that 37 is the smallest. It's a good idea to cross those out. 39 would come next. 44 would be next. 48 and then 54. Now if you remember to find the median, you kind of cross off that first one, the last one, then the first one, and the last one, until you find the one that's in the middle. The median means the middle. The middle number is 44 inches, the median height, 44 inches. Okay, over to box four. What is the temperature? Circle the best answer. Well, I can see 80 degrees is about right here, and 90 degrees is about right here. So my temperatures are going to be between 80 and 90, or, or the correct temperature would be. 
Well, I can look at this one and know that that's not going to be one of my answer choices. So now I need to determine where is that blue line, where has that landed? If I count each and every mark by one, I would find that, let me erase this off of here, I would find that this would be um, 80, right there, and then 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. This thermometer has landed on 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, again, if you need to fix anything, do that now. And let's go down to box five. It says to draw the hour and minute hands to show the time 20 minutes later than 6.15. Well, I'm going to draw my hour and minute hands on 6.15 just to get me started. Okay. But I need to move my minute hand 20 minutes later. So I'm just watch as I just draw a new minute hand 20 minutes later. This is five minutes later. My hour, my minute hand would be there. Ten minutes later, it would be here. Fifteen minutes later, it would be here. And twenty minutes later, it would be there. So if I could go ahead and erase all of these other uh, minute hands, my new time would be still in the hour of six. And now that minute hand is on the seven, if I counted by fives, starting at the top of the hour, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. The new time is 635. Okay, you may need time to erase the hands on your clock and fix those and write in the correct time. If you need to do so, stop the video and do that now. Okay, let's take a look at box six. This is one that you will need to draw a picture for. You have 21 pennies to share equally among three children. I'm gonna underline some important things here. 21 pennies, three children. Okay, so you have 21 pennies shared equally among three children. How many pennies does each child get? So you're going to need to draw that. So let's draw the three children who are going to get the 21 pennies. And then you're just going to have to pass out the 21 pennies one at a time. One, two, three, count all the way up to 21. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then just take a look and see how many pennies each child received. And you'll see that they received seven pennies each. And did we have any left over? No, we did not. So zero were left over. Okay, if you did not have that for your answers, erase and fix that now and you should make sure that you have a picture that looks like mine as well. All right, so here's what you're going to do next with the time that you have left before your group is over. You got to solve this quick puzzle to know what you're going to do next. If you use the code, it will help you fill in the blanks to know what you're going to do next. I'll get you started. I'm going to see, show you that uh, this first one here is a 13, so I'm going to go up to the code and find that 13 is an M. Hmm, I see another 13, so I'll go ahead and fill that M in now. I see that number 1 is an A. I'll let you finish if you need a piece of paper or a whiteboard to figure this out. Go ahead. But when you fill in all your letters, you'll know exactly what you're supposed to go do next. Okay, have fun.